Alright, get the exhaust pipe off. Cross pipes off. Didn't take long, does it? There's some other stuff over here on the other side we gotta do. Mainly push rod clips and oil on them. Boom. Hang them over here. Well, I gotta pull the bolts off there too. Covered with dirt. I even hosed it off when I got back home. It's so dirty, it's full of mud and crap. It didn't look much different. After I found it. Push the covers will come up when I do that. I'm going to pull the head off. I'll take manifold bolts. Got just enough crud on there. I want to screw up by my fingers. And that's why it's so dark in here. I have the light on. for this side of the bike until the head comes off. Until the head comes off, it's good to go. The head will be coming off though pretty soon. Can't get to the straight extension. Carbs off.
Hmm. These are universal to three eighths. Well, you're getting in a tight spots. The key is a 12 inch extension, gets you above the bikes. So you can turn things real quickly. Push rod tension over there. Push rod, front push rod. And this thing is filthy. Yeah. Nasty. Pistons in there though. Fingernails are short, hard to get up whole washers. Alright, let's up. Full of dirt. Dirt everywhere. Thumb. Out. It's got blue stuff in there. What's that? Right. Looks like about the same as when it went in. Put has got more dirt on it. There you go. Alright. Yeah, it's still loose. Good. I'm going to pull all this stuff up. i got to clean everything off, wipe everything. Everything's just covered in dirt down here in the flange. We don't want any of that going down inside that hole in there. These are the rings that did not seal. There's oil everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and take those rings off and grab some of these cheap-ass import Taiwan rings. Nice good chrome plated pressure backed ring. That's what I like about them. They're cheap but they're good. These are chrome. So chrome tends to work better on race motors. Especially got issue with lubrication like lots of dirt and dust and 
stuff like that in there. These rings ran before, but they didn't seal this time. So there's three or four runs on those rings, so you know, and a bunch of warm-up time. So less than 10 miles of riding time, but you know, probably an hour of running time. Yeah, probably, not, probably half hour. This is the Weisco rings. You can see how they're a chrome ring also. But they're not a pressure backed ring like the cheaper one is over here. Like this one. This one's actually better, I think. These are probably machine better. These are better how they work though. These are probably Japanese rings. Probably where these come from. These are Taiwan rings. There you go. Big difference. Alright, I got a lot of cleaning to do. I'm gonna give a quick flash on in there. Not very much at all, I don't want to do anything. The head should be good to go. Not expecting any issues in there. It was running. Just got to clean all the dirt and dust off everything so I can put together cleanly. So, it was definitely burning oil out of the, uh, out of the breather. A lot of oil coming out of here. A lot of it coming out of there. Piston dome is fairly dry. You know, I haven't wiped it off. It is what it is. So the oil was not coming up. It was going. The pressure from the combustion was going down, filling the combustion, the crankcase up full of pressure, which filled up my oil tank full of pressure, which blows the oil filter and blows it all down the whole side of the bike. Lots and lots of blow by. But the ring was working. So. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do, I'll clean all that up and we'll be back.